Dante believes his brother-in-law, Malcolm, is a criminal. Oh. And recently, after $2,000 went missing from a friend, Dante kicked, oh. Dante kicked Malcolm out of the house. Now, Jewel is here to defend her brother and prove to her husband, Dante, that Malcolm is not a thief. Take a look. I'm here today because my brother-in-law, his best friend, Rajan, $2,000 was missing. And the other day, they came to me and accused me of stealing the $2,000, and I didn't take the money. When I told Dante and Jewel of the situation, the way they reacted was they immediately understood. They knew the type of person he was and the possibility he'd do it. So they, they definitely did tell him that he couldn't come back over there until the situation resolved, until we find out if he did or not. I feel like they're accusing me for something that I did in the past. A couple dollars had got missing from my sister, and I didn't take this money this time, but since I did something in the past, they feel like I've done it. I really feel it's because of his drugs and his past history that made me to actually even think that he's the one who possibly did it. He has the history of doing stuff. He has the history of doing even crazier stuff than this. And he stole from people a lot closer to him, uh, people that actually care about him. So why wouldn't he not take the opportunity to steal from somebody who's a little further away, who's not as close to him? They're giving me a roof over my head. They're helping me with my kids. Why would I steal or take something and now I don't have a roof or a place to lay my head? And they're telling me I can't come to the house and that's where my kids is at. So with them saying that, that's hurting me more than the $2,000. The amount of money Dante makes, why would he steal from me? Dante makes more than enough not to ever steal from nobody, so I know that. And then Dante's a straight shooter, all the way through and through. Recently, he had a tattoo party in his house, and he's saying that the money was there when they left, but he claims, oh, the money was gone, and this is the day that you was at upstairs in my brother-in-law's house. I don't want to accuse somebody that's innocent because I know how it feels for somebody to say you did something, you didn't do it. And when you're telling the truth, that makes me more mad to prove me that I didn't do it. That would make me more angry than you being mad at me thinking I did something. So I don't want to go that route. So I'm going to make sure I find out for sure. I'm sorry for what I've done to you in the past. I appreciate everything you're doing for me now, everything you're doing for my kids. And I'm trying to move on. And I just need that chance to show y'all that I'm changing and I'm trying to be a better man. If he passes the test, the first thing I do is apologize. I told him and I told everybody that. If he didn't do it, I apologize for accusing you and I apologize for taking you down this road, especially since the difficult thing you just got off of. Uh, Jewel, what happened the day you found out Rajan's money was missing? I was out doing some errands and my husband called me hysterically telling me I needed to get home because something bad had happened. So when I got to the house, Rajan was telling me that it was a bag of money that was found in an adjoining hallway that we share because I stay on the first floor, he stays in the downstairs part of our townhouse. So he needed to know when was he getting his money and why, what happened. And I'm trying to say, what happened? What's going on? I don't know. I didn't take your money. So then he would have madly assumed, well, your brother's been here. He took the money. He does drugs. He fights. He does this. And I'm like, well, how can you automatically say that my brother stole the money when you have people in and out of your home all day, every day? You throw parties, you have girls over. It's an in and out thing all day, every day. So I know my brother, and yeah, he does a lot of bad things, but he wouldn't take the money knowing that his kids need to stay there. When you say he does a lot of bad things, what does he do? Basically, steals any chance he gets. Steals? Yeah. 